Hi all, if you're looking to learn about the bronchial tree, I'm pleased to inform you that you've come to the right place. Today we'll be discussing the ins and outs of the bronchial tree, the pathway for oxygen through the lungs. The bronchial tree begins at the level of the fifth thoracic vertebrae, where the trachea bifurcates into the right and left primary bronchi, which lead, then lead to the right and left lung, respectively. From the right and left primary bronchi, they will then divide into their respective secondary bronchi. And as you can see, the right lung contains three main secondary branches, as the left only contains two. This is because the left, left has less surface area due to the cardiac notch, which we know is this space here, where the heart lies. From the secondary bronchi, they will then divide into the tertiary bronchi, and I'm going to use just this branch to simplify it, then into the bronchioles, or some may know them as the quaternary bronchi, terminal bronchioles, which are these tiny little passageways here, and then into the tiny little air sacs called alveoli, where gas exchange takes place. The cartilage and mucous membrane of the primary bronchi are similar to that in the trachea. The hyaline cartilage in the wall diminishes until it reaches the smallest bronchioles. As a way to remember it, simply as the cartilage decreases, the prevalence of smooth muscle increases. This allows for increased movement and flexibility, assisting in gas exchange. The mucous membrane of the primary bronchi also changes from ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium here, and as you can see, to demonstrate the cilia and the nucleus uh, labelled on this diagram, to columnar epithelium in the secondary bronchi, simple cuboidal in the tertiary bronchi, and simple squamous in the bronchioles, the quaternary bronchioles, and terminal bronchioles. The alveoli and alveolar ducts also consist primarily of simple squamous to allow for diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide gases. Oxygenation of the blood from the lungs occurs across the walls of the alveolar ducts and alveoli. If the mucous membrane was to become infected or irritated for whatever reason, this may bring on bronchitis, which is a respiratory infection and an inflammation of, of the inner lining of the bronchiole and bronchi. To sum up what we've learned today, I just want to refer to this diagram here where if oxygen was to enter the trachea, once it goes down, it would go into the right or left primary bronchi here, into the secondary bronchi, tertiary bronchi, quaternary or the bronchioles, into the terminal bronchioles, where then it would go into the alveoli, through the alveolar ducts and alveoli, where gas exchange will take place. So either oxygen molecules will come out or carbon dioxide modules will go back in. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you've learned something from this and uh, good luck with your future learning.